afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Get ready for Diamondbacks baseball next. George Torres, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times he can be good, and at times he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting to see which guy shows up in this one here today. Batting third, the first baseman. Digging in the switch Eddie. hitter, Eddie James. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Cubs are down in order, and now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Into the box now, Lloyd Palucci. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop, Lloyd Palucci. The one-two. Hit to first. He's got it. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Stepping into the box, Eddie the James. Team. He flew out Eddie. in his last at bat. Yay. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. And it's Come belted on, ball, high and deep into Come right on, center. Go it's hard. in Go there, two. and the Cubs Go look two. to have extra bases on their first hit of the game. And this right, throw here, gets here. away from him. And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. Well, that's the first hit of the game, and it's a good one as he hustles into third. We'll see if it leads to their first run here. Sometimes a single drip will start a flood. Digging in to try it again. Brennan Davis. Left fielder. Brennan Davis. Fly ball out toward left center field. Siani is there. Let's see if they test it. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. At the plate, Trey Cabbage. His guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. No runs, no yeah, hits, man. no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Hit one, softly one, one, one. down the line at first. And he'll Get step down. on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Cubs one, and the Diamondbacks nothing. At the plate, Eddie James, no as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Yeah. All right, one more time, right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, now here's a drive out Play to the there. alley. You got it, round it. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now, so this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Now batting, Brennan now Davis. Batting. Yeah, like the Brennan Davis. The 3 1. Pitch That's taken for ball down. four. The throw. Yeah. Almost looks semi intentional there. The bad news is that there are two men on base. The good news is that an inning ending double play is now in order. Ready for another shot now. Michael Holliday. A couple of walks for him thus far. Michael Holliday. Lifted in the air out to left. Siani is there. Let's see if they test it. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. 
Christopher Morrell is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Christopher Morrell. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. A 2-0 finish today. Chicago took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Cesar Cazada earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Two runs on three hits. One error. They left 12 men on base. For the Diamondbacks, no runs, three hits, no error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 29 minutes. Thank you.